it's very hard work, uh, you don't earn much, how are you gonna tahan all this thing? My answer to them, let's do it. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Krayan and I'm store owner of Xing Huan Si, all about veg. So over here I'm selling vegetarian food, mostly on Zi Sha style. Uh, some of the examples are Ho Fan, Sang Min, and for signature dishes, I have this Su Jiao Su, and also Kong Ba Pao, and we have pumpkin porridge for the morning, and also fried bee hoon set. So for pumpkin porridge, we are serving brown rice uh, as a base, and also inside there's several ingredients like pumpkin, potatoes, corns, and chickpeas. So in terms of what makes it more healthier is we are using less sodium and less oil. We have elderly, ranging from elderly to workers around. So early in the morning, they will actually pack back to their office eat. Yeah, so uh, on a daily basis, we actually visited markets, different markets and also supermarkets for some of the ingredients. Why we do that rather than supplier is we are not doing a bulk. We are having daily specials. So our daily specials are using different ingredients every day. And of course, we want the freshest ingredient for all our dishes. So prior to this, I'm doing customer service. I've been working over 20 over years. Pretty much similar to everyone. Every day, wake up, take transport, go to work, glance at the computer until the end of the day. Yeah, that's the pattern. And actually, not really like, hey, I want to be a hawker or whichever. I like to cook. Some of the days and during weekends, I will cook for my family members. And yeah, that's how, how I come about it. Big, why not do FFB? My mom is a full time vegetarian 20 over years ago, and that's one of the core reasons why I actually venture into vegetarian food. So far, I mean, looking back, being a fast paced, red race kind of thing, and since I like go into hawker for almost a year, I found myself that I can slow my pace and take a look at the flowers and the clouds rather than rushing over to work. And I got to spend more time with my mom. That's very important because previously I'm, when I'm working in office life, I only managed to meet up with her like once a week or sometimes even once a month. Now, every day, I'm looking at my mom. So definitely there's a lot of objection from family members, from relatives and even friends. It's very hard work. Uh, you don't earn much. How are you going to tahan all this thing? My answer to them, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it and at least give me some years to prove it whether I'm suitable in this industry or not, then yeah, we'll see how, how this goes. When I chance upon this hawker development program, I mean, I, I tell myself, why not just give it a try and see how this goes. So before hawker development program, I know nothing about what this program is about. So when I joined this hawker development program, uh, different stages, and what I learned so far in these stages are business management skills, and of course operational, how you operate a store, and culinary skills because they also guide us through how to whip up a dish and it's really a yummy dish. Definitely, I would recommend people to join this uh, hawker development program because as I mentioned earlier on, this is really a stepping stone and kickstart your hawker life because without this, I don't even know where to bid for a hawker store. And also, get to know my mentor. My mentor is Tony from Chen Zi. Uh, because there's stage two, it's actually under apprenticeship and he will actually pair us with a mentor. Like for me, myself, I got to know a lot of things from my mentor. From operation, ingredient ordering, and how to prepare food. How to manage a store. It's not easy as what other people think. So my mentor actually guided me through the process, step by step, how to, how to do all these things. Yeah. The first time, I had a conversation with him. So what he mentioned to me during the phone call, he actually drive deep into my heart. It's easy to set up an f &B, but what's the kind of relationship are people actually looking at? So store can open up, you can close. Like in Chinese, Ren Xing Wei. Ren Xing Wei is difficult to find in any of the area. And for one store that my mentor has, actually survived for multi-generation. The Ren Xing Wei is really there. Difficulties, there is, definitely there is a lot. But one of the things is, really when you first start up as a hawker, no one knows you. No one knows what your store is selling. That's what I've been experiencing. And really you have to get their heart back by really cooking delicious food. And what the one thing that so-called my goal is really to look at all the diners uh, eating happily when they finish their dishes. That's very important. Uh, it's not about how much I want to earn or whichever, but it's really about the happiness that everyone that eats uh, my dishes, they are happy. I have one word, four letter in Mandarin, 坚持到底. 
if you really want to do this, don't look at profit first. Really, make your dishes, do up your marketing. At least someone will know that you are selling something here. And persistent. You have to be very, very persistent. Don't give up because I really want to give up along the way. But yeah, I actually persistent now.